Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Tour. This time we're headed to the historic Route 66 town of Sepulpa, Oklahoma. The history of Sepulpa is a long and rich one. The area was originally inhabited by Native Americans, including the Creeks, Cherokee, and Seminole tribes. In the early 1800s, the area was part of the Louisiana Purchase. In 1830, the Indian Removal Act was passed which forced many Native Americans to leave their homes in the eastern United States and move to Indian Territory, which included the area that is now Sepulpa, Oklahoma. In 1872, a group of Creek Indians founded the town of Sepulpa. The town was named after Chief Sepulpa, a Creek leader. Sepulpa quickly grew into a prosperous town thanks to its location on the Frisco Railroad and its abundance of natural resources, which included thousands and thousands of walnut trees, a very clay surface of soil, and most importantly, oil. In 1905, the discovery of oil in the Glenpool field near Sepulpa led to a boom in the town's economy. Sepulpa became a major oil producer and attracted people from all over the country. The town's population grew rapidly, and by 1920, Sepulpa was a city of over 20,000 people. Unfortunately, the oil boom came to an end in the 1930s, but Sepulpa continued to grow and prosper. The town's economy is diversified, and it became a center for agriculture, manufacturing, and education. Today, Sepulpa is a thriving city with a population of still over 20,000 people, it's the county seat of Creek County is home and is home to a large number of businesses, schools, and churches. As we walk through the downtown area of Sepulpa, we'll see a number of really old and historic buildings. In fact, the entire downtown area is part of the National Register of Historic Places, with most of these buildings being original and still intact. Great Route 66 location that you will see here in Sepulpa is this old Gulf uh, gas station. There are actually several gas stations that we'll see along this tour, most built in the 1920s and 1930s. This one is a private business at this time, but still maintains the look of what a gas station appeared like in the 1920s and 1930s here in Sepulpa. As we continue our 
our tour of Theresa Paul, but let's learn a little bit about the history a bit more. Uh, as mentioned, the town was named after a, an Indian chief called Sapopa. Uh, Sapopa was born a full-blooded Creek Indian, uh, Native American, from the Georgia-Alabama area. Sapopa was not actually a, quote, chief of his tribe, but did have a place of influence within the tribe. Sapopa was well-educated, well-traveled, and learned to speak English. Because of his education, Sapopa began to trade and establish relationships with merchants and customers. During the Trail of Tears, where most of the Native Americans were moved from the eastern United States to what was called Indian Territory and eventually became Oklahoma, uh, Sapopa would move too. He came to the territory sometime before 1850. It's not officially known what Sapopa's name actually was. Uh, his name had various spellings. Some of his uh, family members believed that when some of the railroad workers came to town, most of those were Italian workers, and somehow they used an Italian name to kind of spell out and say Sapopa, and the family still goes by Sapopa today. Sapopa itself would not have been a town without the red ra railroad. Red Fork, a small town just outside of Sapopa and Tulsa, was experiencing an oil boom. The Atlantic and Pacific Railway wanted to connect Red Fork and Tulsa. Eventually, that line would extend to the area of Sapopa. Chief Sapopa himself had a trading post established near a blacksmith shop. As the railroad expanded to this area, they named the station Sapulpa Station. The railroad line was extended to Sapulpa in 1883 for freighting out the walnut logs found on the banks of Rock Creek. In 1886, the first passenger train came down. Sapulpa's son William took his father over to Tulsa at the invitation of the Frisco officials to ride on the first passenger train into Sapulpa. Sapulpa Township would become the end of the line destination from 1884 to 1899 as tracks ended at Sapulpa from the Tulsa area. Frisco became the new Atlantic and Pacific near to the mid to late 1880s. Sapulpa would be designated as the Frisco hub, kind of a headquarters, as tracks, tracks branched out here from across the state and country. By 1927, Frisco reassigned the headquarters to Tulsa. But the town continued to grow. As more and more people arrived, businesses grew and prospered. One such business was that oil industry. Sapulpa often gave itself nicknames throughout, throughout its history. Sapulpa was always in rivals with the larger towns and cities of Tulsa and Bristow. But one thing that Tulsa really boasted itself was they were called the oil city of the Southwest. Many businesses thrived in Sapulpa outside the railroad and oil. At one time, cotton was a major crop in the area, and Oklahoma's largest cotton comp compress was located in Sapulpa. The town also distributed bricks from the Sapulpa Brick Company. Sapulpa has two of the longest running, still in operations, that buildings that are used for the original purpose in Oklahoma. One of those is this courthouse built in 1914 
and later on we'll see the Car Carnegie Library which was built in 1917. As stated earlier, Sepulpa had many nicknames. One such nickname given to the city was the Crystal City of the Southwest. This is in reference to the wide variety of glass factories Sepulpa once had. At one time in the 19, early 1900s, Sepulpa had at least six glass factories working. They all made a little different brands though. Uh, one made windshields for cars, one made wi uh, building windows for homes, and another manufactured fruit jars. One of the more famous glass factories was the Bartlett & Collin Glass Factory. They basically did houseware type glass. They manufactured pitchers, uh, plates, and cups, and they were all hand painted. In fact, many homes all over the country still have these types of glassware in their kitchen and dining room sets. Another glass factory was the Liberty Glass Factory. Uh, they made milk bottles, Pepsi bottles, beer bottles, and even glass mailboxes. Sepulpa didn't just have oil, Frisco, the Frisco Railroad, and glass. Sepulpa also was famous for its pottery. The Frank Alma Pottery uh, Company used resources in the area, like the clay in the ground, to manufacture many different popular pop pottery styles. The most famous design is a wagon wheel, and the most famous colors used in their pottery, pottery were blue and green.
we're coming up on a famous filling station here in Sepulpa, and that's the Wade Phillips Barnstall Filling Station. This is an early 1920s Phillips, old Phillips 66 station. And across the street from that is a museum that talks about the oil industry, Phillips gasoline, and various other history in Sepulpa. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Sepulpa, Oklahoma. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Put any comments in if you want some more information. And we'll see you on our next walk. Take care now. Bye.